Chevrolet Buick GMC. Welcome back to For the Record. Joining me now are Brian and Jillian Holmes and their son Henry, who just completed his last year at the Meyer Center. We have met before. Yes. Right. Share your story real, real quick for those who don't know. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Henry was born in, uh, let's see, 2019, early 2019. Mm -hmm. um, we actually bought the house here in Greenville before Henry was born. He was diagnosed at birth with, uh, with Down syndrome. We did not know that until he was born. So we had a house in Greenville. Yeah. We knew no one here. And all of a sudden we had this, uh, this new normal. Um, so we thought we were gonna have to stay uh, in Atlanta where we were at the time. But uh, then we discovered the Meyer Center and we were like, hey, this seems like a really special place. And then we discovered that they had a 70 person waiting list. And then all of a sudden, it didn't seem like such a great opportunity. But uh, the stars aligned and uh, he got into the school as the youngest uh, child that he had ever taken at that point, wow. nine months old. And um, here we are five years later and he's doing really special things because uh, in large part because of the Meyer Center. Yeah, without, without the Meyer Center, and you just happen to be in Greenville, without the Meyer Center, where what would you have done yeah we don't know mm -hmm. yeah yeah I mean it's great that they have the therapies there at the school and they have the ele educational element um, it allowed me to go back to work yeah. um, and it's really the only reason why you know Henry has been so successful yeah. mm -hmm. so before when we talked we talked about everything the Meyer Center was able to do for you and for Henry and how he was excelling now he's a graduate Walk me through what that was like, knowing that he's graduating. Yeah, um, we're very excited and very proud of him. He's yeah. worked extremely hard, and so has everybody at the Meyer Center to get him to this point. We also are a little bit nervous, too, about the road ahead, um, uh, fear of the unknown, I guess. Um, but we have a really great, strong foundation, all because of the Meyer Center. And that's what I was going to get at. The with every parent there's the fear of the unknown right. no matter what situation um but he has received a foundation that was a miracle in your story right mm -hmm. walk me through that yeah i think that um what's so special about the meyer center is that you drop them off at eight uh, and you pick them up at two and in between that time frame they're getting you know, call it typical classroom interactions, mm -hmm. songs and circle time. Mm -hmm. They're getting occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy. If you don't have all that stuff in one place, then as a parent, you have to coordinate it on your own. They're either coming to you or you're going to them. And it's just a really intense thing for a family, for a marriage to try to figure out. And so having all that in one place, um, it's, it, it's truly a, a blessing and it allows him to thrive to be to be cared for but not coddled mm -hmm. and it allows them to keep up when they're young and they're able to do things that keep them level with typical peers it, it encourages them socially it encourages them physically educationally because they they can interact really well with other typical peers and, and it keeps them I think uh, aspirational you know yeah outside listening to what you're saying so outside of learning you know the colors and numbers and so on there's that social interaction mm -hmm. that they would only get in a school setting yeah learning how to deal with your own emo emotions yeah as a child um, and all that you could only get in a setting like that yeah that's right yeah it's very special what happens now where do you where does he go? Yes, he is going to Southside Christian School next year. He's going to be in their K-5 program, and we are very excited. We look, can't wait. Look at the smile on your face saying that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Where is really that excited. coming from? Uh, we've had a lot of hard work that we put in, and so has the Meyer Center, and yeah. um, we're just really excited about the road ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he going to miss friends in class? and? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've about that a lot. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think with any child, you know, you're, how are they going to do at this next level or at this next school? And um, I, we've just seen him re react really well to social changes, uh, you know, if a, a teacher changes or a friend changes, um, I don't know, you never know how your kid's going to react to that. And we've been impressed at every stage about how he reacts, which tells me he's like socially developing and he's mm -hmm. understanding what's going on. So those things are really, really important at, at that next level. 
Let's rewind a little bit because there was a waiting list, as you mentioned, to get in. Um, the need is great. And we talk about how many people are moving to this area right. day in and day out. Um, you, you're you one family, but there's so many families out there who may not get that same story that you had. How do you juggle that? Yeah. Well, I remember where we were when we got the call um, from the Myers Center that they wanted to schedule us for an interview. And I just think you, you just take that for granted now that, oh, well, we got into the Myers Center and it's been a great five years. I have no idea what life would look like had we not. Right. Uh, it would not be the same. And, uh, and so for those other families, I mean, you know, as, as part of the mission for the Myers Center, the school wants to grow. The school wants to expand its capabilities to other families because um, it truly is a strong need anywhere, but especially as this city grows. Um, I mean, we think about back in Atlanta, how we would have tried to have done something like this, and it doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And you would have had to do all sorts of different things to try to even figure out the pieces. Mm -hmm. So um, I know the school has big aspirations to grow. And for you, I would imagine you had some good sit-down time with parents who have walked this before. Their kids are now maybe... 18, 19, and what they're doing, and be able to sit down and talk to those parents about how they juggled this, that had to play a huge role into your story as well. Well, you know, I would say we didn't have to do that because we were so, he was nine months old when he went there. You're still in a fog at that right. point. You're still figuring out the day-to-day -day and the new normal. And then you get this nice, neat package handed to you that says, we got this. And so, um, you know, I think one of the good parts about the Meyer Center is that it does let you, it lets you level set, it lets you figure things out. And then as far as, you know, I think our aspirations for him are so much higher than they might have been had we not been there. I want the same thing for my son that you want for your son, that you, you know, we want those, we want college graduation and marriage and things that like 20 years ago, if you had an experience with somebody with Down syndrome or somebody with, you know, a high on the autism scale, it was probably not a positive situation. It was probably a situation that you, you felt empathy for or even sympathy for. But because of our situation with the Meyer Center, we feel like everything is possible. Yeah, it is. It really is. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for continuing to share this story. It's a powerful story, and I'm sure it's going to help a lot of people hearing it. Yeah. Well, our conversation about the Meyer Center celebrating 70 years of service to the upstate continues when we come back.